Well, Nikki Exotica has spent more than a million dollars on the way she looks. From head to toe, the recording artist is aiming for plastic perfection. And despite what the critics may say, Nikki says she is proud of her appearance. With more procedures than she can count already uh, out of the way, including gender reassignment surgery, Nikki's path to reclaiming her identity has led to social media stardom. Now, with the support of her legion of fans online, she's inspiring others to embrace being different. Let's say hi, Nikki Exotica, live from LA. Welcome to the show. Hi. Hey, How Nikki. are you? Good, good. Oh, we've got so much to talk about. Let's go back to your childhood. You say you always knew you were different, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. What was childhood like? Childhood was hard, you know. Um, I was hiding it from my family that I wanted to be different and I just kept putting on like makeup and, and painting my nails and going to school I was getting bullied I was putting makeup on in homeroom class and um, it was difficult you know I just I didn't understand myself I grew up in New Jersey by the Jersey Shore okay but you've described your transition as one of the best things that you have ever done so how did the initial surgeries inspire your look today were you hooked from day one um, no, I mean, actually, my first nose job, uh, it, it was so painful, and I said, I'll never get another uh, surgery, surgery procedure ever again. And, uh, and then after that, I don't know, I just kept on going, and I couldn't stop. <laughs> <laughs> so that was your first step in the million-dollar Barbie journey, right? What makes, yes. what makes you different to other plastic surgery stars? I have done very... Um, innovative procedures that others have not. I was probably one of the first people that, to do calf implants at the time back in 1995, 96. It was, it was around there. Um, and then I did just recently my eye color change procedure. So I've been doing my uh, lasering my eye color to from brown to blue. And uh, let's see what else. I did my voice change surgery before a lot of people have even heard about it. So, yeah, I've done a lot of stuff. Nikki, can we just talk about the eye colour? I thought you must have had a filter on your camera. That's not... Oh, so these are contact lenses until oh. my eyes get light enough. So my eyes are, like, very grey, grey-brown right oh, now, okay. but they're going to be blue. Yeah, it takes sessions. So I'm at 16 sessions right now, and it takes about 30 sessions to get to blue. So oh. I'm still doing it. Oh, wow. Oh, my um, God. This is such a... This is devotion. This is devotion yes. to a way you Dedicated. want to look. Dedicated. Dedicated. Wow. <laughs> and not cheap. You, we understand you've spent a million dollars or more. That's a lot of money. Do we ever think where yes. else you could have spent that money? Uh, or is that always... Oh, always my just mother been... yells at me. My mom yells at me all the time. She's like, you know, you could have bought a car, a beautiful car, a home, a mansion, uh, everything, you know? And I'm just like, okay, but I'm happy, you know? Well, uh, it, that's, if, that, if it's bringing happiness, I guess that's what it's all about, right? Um, tell us about yes. this pet that you have. It's an F1 Savannah cat. Yes. I mean, not, it's yes. not like with you right now. We've got the photos, though. So it's half a serval, which is a wild cat from Africa. Wow. Yes. His dad is a serval and the mother is a Bengal. That's my baby. I've had him since 2004. Um, and I have another cat, a Bengal cat, which is part Asian leopard cat, but he's adorable. He's very mean and aggressive to other people. So when, like, everybody saw the video from Hooked on the Look and he was getting really nasty and growling, it was because the camera crew was there. He wouldn't really do that. Oh, okay. right. And these are really expensive, these, these cats, aren't they? Yes. Yes, I included him in the price. <laughs> no, but he, he was, I think he was about 15000 at the time when I got it. Wow. Oh, wow. Um, yeah. So over a million dollars, that's where you're up to now. When will you be done? Or, or are we going to have to have you back as the $2 million Barbie? No. <laughs> I don't know. I think I'm at a little bit over a million right now. Um, I think I'm doing, I'm redoing my teeth because I, I had braces on the bottom. So I'm doing a, my bottom veneers and then do we doing the top to match the bottom because you can't just do the bottom if you went to another doctor to do your top so you got to redo the whole mouth um and that's going to cost a lot <laughs> and yeah. then i'm probably doing butt implants because i had silicone removal surgery and i do want to talk to people about silicone injections is that although i was a supportive of silicone injections it is so bad for you and i would say 
and stay against it because mm. it's toxic. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's why I removed it. Hey, hey Nikki, we really got to go, but lots of our viewers will be wondering what you do for, for work. How are you raising these funds to do all this stuff? Well, I am a pop music artist, so I travel the United States and the world. I perform in many different countries. I perform in Mykonos and uh, Barcelona. Uh, I have some of my music videos up online on my YouTube channel. Great. And yeah, so I mean, I also act. I'm a model, influencer. I make money in many different ways, and I'm writing a book right now. So. Oh, you got lots going on. We can't wait to see the book. Yes. Come back and talk to us about that. Great to talk to you of today. Course. Thank you. Thank you for having me.